With the last version of Tombstone, we had some issues with Drive, and uh, really that was my fault, the way I'd kind of laid things out. For years, we had used the NPC motors for Drive. Okay. Well, you can see there's the, the line that the motor runs, the way the gearbox is laid out. The output shaft is slightly offset forward, and this is how I mounted it in the robot, so that the tire was offset forward. To do an upgrade over this power system, we've moved into using these gearboxes here. And you can see it's quite a bit smaller. It's actually lighter, but it has more power too. So the whole setup was certainly a good upgrade. You can see the inline for the motor and the inline for the output shaft are the same. So when I mounted them in the robot, I ended up with the tires slightly back from where they were originally. And we're only talking about an inch. It wasn't a big difference, but it was enough that the robot didn't drive as crisply as I would like. It, it had a problem, didn't have enough weight on the wheels to get good traction, and so it just didn't drive the way it needs to. So for the face-offs event, we're going to do some modifications to the frame. The whole idea is to try to move that drive system forward in the frame so I can get those tires back to where they were, in fact, maybe even a little bit further forward from where they were, just to help the way it drives, because that's one of the keys for Tombstone, is be able to drive past somebody and cut into them, and you need to have the traction to do that. You need to have the agility, and, and we just didn't have that before. So uh, let's, uh, let's start cutting the frame up and making this happen. All right, so here we are, welded up, ready to go. Uh, yes, welded poorly. You guys can make fun of my welds. And there's this tube right here that I didn't want to cut out of the frame. So realistically, I was just moved the whole mount from one side to the other and just welded it up in place. We had to cut this out, notch this out, to fit the motor actually in there. Um, but it's all set up right now. And let's go ahead and measure measure the movement. And so. Looking at it right there, it looks like we moved an inch and three quarters forward. And by my rough guesses, I think it was about an inch behind where it was before. So I think uh, this, this should do exactly what I'm after. We should be able to get the, uh, the extra drivability that this robot needs to, to be effective. So at this point, uh, it's time to throw a motor in there and make sure everything clears. And then uh, uh, I think we should be good. The typical mount I use for the drivetrain is I use these uh, shock isolators to kind of give some cushion to the drive, but then also some solid bolts in the middle so even if these break, it doesn't go anywhere. This has worked really well. So in my head, moving this forward, we'd had room to move in because I would have extra clearance on the, uh, on the weapon motor. Uh, as it turns out, put it all together, it wasn't quite enough space. So I had to machine up some spacers to move it out just a little bit to have enough room for everything to clear. So let's go ahead and throw it together and hopefully everything has enough clearance to work. So here we have it mounted in place. And if you look, looks like my clearance between the back of the motor and the weapon motor is about exactly the thickness of my spacers. So I'm, uh, I'm glad I put these in because this will move a little. And so I wanted to make sure it had room to clear. Clears the frame all the way around where I notched, clears everything there. So this actually turned out really good. So I guess now the next thing to do would be to 
compare this to the old setup to see how much this improved. So this is last season's version of the way the drive was set up. And if you look at where the uh, mount for the, the shock mount and the bend in the frame, it kind of gives you an idea of its placement here. Another thing to kind of keep track of is where the hub mounts for the tire. It's about five and a half inches out to there, to the mount. So let's look at the look at the new setup. First off, if you look where the isolator is mounted compared to the bend in the frame, you can see that it's further forward. You can also look at where this is mounted. It's, so it's about four inches from the frame to where the, the, the tire was going to mount. So those tires have moved forward. But they've also moved in slightly, which is what I was after. Because we'll probably be running the shortest bar on Tombstone for the most part, and so I don't need the wide width. And the closer they are in, the quicker it can turn, and uh, um, the less likely the tires are to get hit, because they're closer to the frame. So the frame modifications are complete, the drivetrain is mounted in the new spot, and I'm pretty happy with how all of this turned out. Clearances are good. I think this is going to work out the way that we need. Also managed to get some other welding done on the frame. So we've got the, the mount plates for the, the power switches are mounted in place. Got the mount plates for the LEDs welded in place. I honestly think for the most part I'm done. I think I'm done welding on this frame. I think, I think we're good. So at this point the next thing we need to do is we need to wire it up, get everything completely assembled and do some testing and make sure that it's going to drive the way that I want. I'm confident that it's going to, but I still need to, I need to see it so I feel better about it. And let's assume I get it all together, I get it all back together, I'm happy with it, I think we're good, <laughs> then I got to do it all again <laughs> for robot number two. So uh, we're going to be busy, it's going to be, a, it's only three weeks out, we're going to be in, uh, in Vegas for, for face-offs. So we got we to gotta get moving on stuff, get this all, all done. Um, it's going to be fun, though. Uh, face-offs is going to be our weekend. is November 1st through 3rd in Las Vegas. Um, tickets are still available. You go to the BattleBots website. There will be a link below. Uh, if you want to come watch, we'd love to see you out there. And uh, we're going to go have a good time. It's going to be fun.